Situation 10, batter runner interference. The batter runner is touched by his own batted ball in fair territory. There was no intent to interfere. What's the ruling? A. The batter runner is out since he was hit in fair territory by a batted ball. B. Ball is alive and in play since he did not intentionally interfere. C. Ball is dead immediately and the batter returns to bat. The batter runner is touched by his own batted ball in fair territory. There was no intent to interfere. The correct ruling is? A. The batter runner is out since he was hit in fair territory by a batted ball. Base runners are obligated to avoid batted balls and fielders in the act of fielding batted balls. Some very interesting plays can occur on the first baseline as the batter runner is advancing to first. In this play, the batter runner is touched by a fair ball as he is running to first. In the second play, the batter runner touches the ball in foul territory. There are two very important points for the umpire to keep in mind. Anytime a batter runner is touched in fair territory as he is advancing to first, he is out, regardless of intent, and secondly, when a batter runner touches a batted ball in foul territory, he is not out unless his action is deemed to be intentional by the umpire.